Hello everyone, my name is Mango and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making a fire truck here. This is actually a rescue variant. Um, if I go into first person, I'll just show you around. It is mostly used for rescuing people out of vehicles if they're in a car accident or maybe clearing a tree out from a, a road or something if it fell over. You can see I have quite a few vehicles here um, to do tutorials on. Um, let's see, we got a fire engine back there. We got a ladder truck right here, which I'm super proud of. Um, volunteer, tanker, and let's look down here. We got a um, highway patrol vehicle for California. Um, I'm actually not sure what vehicle this is. It might be an explorer, but yeah. Um, let me know what which one I should do next, guys, because I'm looking for, you know, just looking for input, so, yeah. So for this one, we got um, four layers. We'll start with the layer one, of course. I'll just, I'll just go through all these layers um, while we're building until we get to the top layer. And then, yeah, that'll finish up the tutorial. So let's get right into it. Okay, so what we're going to need for this is polished andesite slabs, an acacia sign, smithstone slabs, black wool, stone buttons, hoppers, a birch sign, and a custom banner, which I'll be showing you guys how to make um, once we need it. And we're going to want to start with two black wool, just like this. Wherever you want. These are your two front wheels, so wherever you want your vehicle to be, you put these two down, just with a one block in between them. And then in front of that, we'll put two andesite slabs like that, and then one smooth stone in the middle, and then a row of three andesite. And then on the front andesite slab right here, we'll put a sign, and that can be, let's see, what do I have it over here as? Oh, it's actually not, doesn't have anything on there. So I'm pretty sure that just gives a little lip to the front bumper because there's like a box or something there so you don't actually need to put anything on that sign so you can just keep it blank and then behind or in between these two wheels we're going to put more smithstone slabs and then a row of three and then we're also going to put buttons on these um on the black wall and then two slabs of andesite like that and then a sl um, row of four smooth stone slabs like that. And then we're going to want to get a placeholder block. I'll just be using the black wool for now. We're going to place one here and here. Then we're going to grab our hoppers and place on the face of that block. So then we have the little chute coming out. And we're going to do that on this side. And then we're basically just going to flip around the hopper. So then the chute is going in, just like that. And then we can remove those placeholders. And then smooth stone slabs, just like this. And then row of three, two andesite on either side. And then more smooth stone on either side of that. And then we'll put down our back wheels and put buttons on those. Smithstone slab, another smithstone slab, andesite slab, and then row of three at the end, and then smithstone slab, and a, another placeholder, and a hopper going out like that. That's our exhaust. Alright, so now let's get to these banners. I'm just gonna, you can just put them there, and then I will show you um, how to make them. Okay, so in order to make these banners, what you want to do is get a black banner, a loom, black dye, and gray dye. And we're going to put the black banner into, the, into here like this. And then we're going to get the little line that goes to the center using the gray dye. And then we're also going to get the circle pattern. And then we're going to use our black dye and get the border. And there we go. So that banner goes right there on the back of the wheel. 
And now what we're going to want to do is put a birch sign right here on the right side of the back of the of our vehicle. And that'll just be right behind the um, hopper there. And this is just the license plate for the vehicle. So yeah, let's get on to um, layer 2. Okay, so for layer 2, we're going to need red concrete, a blast furnace, polished black stone button, a stone button, a lever, brick stairs, acacia sign, a weighted pressure plate, a lodestone, and let me just move this up so I have more space to get more things, and we're going to need a red shulker box, and we are okay, we already got stone button, warped button, Acacia button, an observer, a grindstone, a dark oak fence, and let me make sure that there's nothing different over here. Um, okay, we are good. So yeah, let's get on to layer two. So first things first for layer two, we're going to get our red concrete. And one block back from this front bumper, we're going to place two like that. Then we're going to get our blast furnace and place that down right in the middle. And we're going to get our stone button and our polished black stone button. Two stone buttons on the red concrete and polished black stone button on the middle. You might need to crouch in order to place that. And then on the sides of these red concretes, we're going to put levers and they're going to be facing up. And then we're going to use our brick stairs and place them like this. And you can just put concrete right in the middle. And then a row of concrete. And we're going to use our acacia signs and we're going to place those. And let me let me go see what, what we use those signs for. Not sure if they're just empty or... Yeah, they're just empty. Okay, so you just keep those signs empty. I'm pretty sure they're like for door handles or something. It's been a while since I've been on my little tutorial map here, so not fully remembering everything, but that's okay. Um, then we're going to place another row of the concrete like this, and then a lodestone, and then another row of concrete, and then we're going to get our red choker box, and place it, let's see, we're going to need placeholder blocks, like this, and you're just going to place them down like that, so then the darker red part is facing down, just like that, and then we can remove those two placeholders, and then, oh, looks like I missed a block, um, we're going to need red terracotta, we're going to place that right above the two polished andesite right there, and then row of three of red concrete, and then another row of three here, and then one there, and then stone brick stairs on either side for the um, little openings for the wheels, and then let's see, another row of red concrete, and now, let's see how I have this placed, we're going to get an observer place it like that so the little red dot is facing out that way and we'll do that on the other side as well and then for that metal block we'll just use red concrete and we're going to want to get our dark oak fence place that on the red concrete right there and then a grindstone we're just going to place that right there oh sorry we're going to place it like that so then the it's on the bottom of the uh andesite slab right here and now we have some buttons to put down. So we're going to get our warped buttons and put them just like this um, in between the red terracotta and the stair. And then we're going to use our stone buttons, place them on top of the red terracotta like that. And then two more up here next to the sign. And I'm pretty sure, oh nope, we got it, the acacia, 
and we'll put that in between the stair and the observer at the back just like that and now we have the um, weighted pressure plate to put down so we'll put these right on top of the hopper next to the lodestone just like this and that's gonna wrap up that layer so from here if you want to make this type of livery on the um, and on the apparatus you're gonna want to use polished black stone for basically everything that's black on here minus the carpet but if you want to make it white like some other um, cities have it we'll just use the smooth quartz just like this and I like the black one more so that's why I started out with this one but then I just decided to also make a um, white and red one just for the fun of it and you know I also changed out a few signs down here you don't have to do that um, honestly I think it, I think that would look better for um, as acacia anyway so if you want to keep it like that you can but yeah just a recommendation so yeah let's get on to layer 3 okay so for layer 3 we're gonna need another brick fence black stained glass black wool dark oak fence gate polished black stone black stained glass pane red terracotta red concrete smooth stone and I'm just gonna move these up again warped button acacia button oh oops not not stone button um, yeah, warped and acacia. Then we'll make this banner later. And then we need um, an acacia sign. Shulker box. Oh, we will we will need stone button. Um, and then we make another banner here. And then I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So let's go over here and we'll start layer three. So, first we're going to get our black stained glass. We're going to place a row of three just like that, right on top of the blast furnace and these two concretes that we placed at the beginning of layer two. And then we're going to get our nether brick fence. Place those down just on the side right there, so then the levers are right below them. Those are our um, rear view win uh, mirrors. And then we're going to get our glass panes just place them like that and polished blackstone or smooth quartz if you're making the white version and then we're gonna make a row of three like that and then we're gonna get our black wool and just place it in the middle like that and then we're also gonna place one right here and then let me double check something okay so then we're gonna place down two black stained glass right there and now we're gonna get our red terracotta place two like that and then we're gonna get our red concrete place one in the middle and then a row of three and then another row of three make sure you don't open those um, shulkers and then we're gonna get red terracotta again Oop, and actually gonna keep that space empty so it's just two red concrete on the side like that and we're gonna get red terracotta place it down like that and we're gonna get our shulker and we're gonna place them like this from the back so then the darker red piece is facing that way towards the front and then we're gonna get red terracotta again and place two down like that so then it's on top of the stairs in this red concrete block right here and then we're gonna get our red concrete and just place it down like that. And now we're gonna fill this space in with the smooth stone. So just like this. All right, and now we can get our um, acacia button and warped acacia or warped button. 
we're going to put the acacia button on top of this red terracotta and then a warped button right next to it and same on this side and then I'll get to that banner in a second and then acacia sign there and you can just leave it um, empty and then our stone button and we'll put that there and then more warped buttons on the back here next to the on the red concrete and then I think that covers layer three except for the banners so I'll be right back and we'll do those banners and then move on to the final two layers okay so I just realized I actually won't be doing these banners here um, these banners are actually like city specific to the city that I'm working on right now um, but if you'd like I will just um, put these down for you guys in a row and then you guys can take a look at them if you want to use them but I won't be um, showing you how to make them so here they are these two go on the sides of the vehicle and then this one goes on the back just like that okay now we can continue on to the two final layers so for this layer we're gonna need polished blackstone slab blackstone stairs light gray carpet black carpet Pol uh, polished blackstone, blackstone pressure plate, blackstone pol polished blackstone, sorry, um, a dark oak sign, an acacia sign, which you can also switch out for a um, dark oak if you want if you want to, um, stone buttons. Let me move this stuff up again. grindstones, um, black concrete, dark oak trapdoor, or a birch trapdoor if you're making the white and red one, dark oak fence gate, or the skeleton skull, warped button, and that will be all for this layer, I think. Yes. Okay, so we'll get over here to the final two layers, and we will start with our polished blackstone, and or our, our slab, sorry, our polished blackstone stairs, and the light gray carpet. We'll place two slabs like this on the front, a stair in the middle, so then the little piece that goes up is facing towards the back, and then a row of three carpet like that. That's going to be our light bar. And then a row of three blackstone stairs, just like that. And then we're going to get out our blackstone block and place two like that. And then, let's see. Okay. And then we're going to make, we're going to use these, our slabs, put two right there. We're also going to put one more, um, Black zone block right there, and then I missed a block, so we're gonna gonna go back here and get that. We're gonna get black stained glass as well. We're gonna put that just right here in between on top of that black wall. That's gonna be like a um, a uh, ceiling or roof light or roof window. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, we're also gonna get our black carpet, and we're just gonna put two down like that okay and now we're gonna get our polished blackstone block and place a row of three down like that and we're gonna get our stone buttons place them down like that and then a carpet in the middle and oh I'm sorry uh, those are supposed to be stairs my bad so we will put we will replace these replace these two blocks with stairs just like that that's right on top of the terracotta 
and then we'll get our blackstone our polished blackstone block and our blackstone stairs we'll do a row of um, a row of blackstone blocks here like that and then a row of three stairs and then a stair here and a stair here and then we're gonna skip a skip a space a stair here another here and let me just make sure I'm doing this right oops okay I'm not we're gonna skip one more space so like this and then remove those two the ones that were on top of the shulker block we're gonna put two concrete down like this with carpet on top and that carpet's actually going to be on top of all of these. Oh wait, I'm sorry. So carpet on everything here, but the um, black concrete. Then we're going to put the pressure plates down like that. Okay, and now we're going to get two more concrete. And just like we did over for these two, we're going to put them right here. And then pressure plate on top. And then polish box on stairs like so. And then um, we will put a dark oak fence gate there. And um, oh wait. Hmm. Okay, looks like I changed something on the final layer. So we're going to remove this one. And we're actually just going to make it like this. So we're going to have them all open up against this wall here. And then we're going to remove that grindstone on the bottom. Sorry about that. So now we get a dark oak trapdoor or a birch trapdoor if you're making the the white one like I said earlier and we're gonna open it like that um, so it's at the back and then we're gonna put black carpet here and we're gonna get a grindstone put it there and then okay and it looks like this carpet you break that break that one behind the grindstone and then make a row of three like this, so then this one's open, but these ones aren't. And then we're going to get our stone button and our warped button and our signs. And we're going to place a stone button like this and a stone button like this. And then we're going to get our warped buttons, put them on the front on the front concrete right like this and then we're gonna get our sign and let me go see if these say anything okay so the back two signs these back two dark oak ones don't say anything so you can just place them down like this but then this one up here designates for showing that there's a paramedic on board so we're gonna get the little asterisk um, asterisk symbol and then did I say pandemic? I think I meant... Yes, I meant paramedic. <laughs> paramedic. And then we're going to put another asterisk like that. And I'll just copy this one over to this side. Just like that. So yeah, sorry about that. Did not mean to say paramed uh, pandemic. I said par um, paramedic. <laughs> and then we're going to get our acacia signs. And we're going to put those down right here. And we're going to use the asterisk again. And then just put 911. And 911. Just like that. And that's the show, you know, if you need help, dial 911. And then we're going to get our warped buttons and put them down like this right here. And. I think that's gonna wrap up. Oh wait, uh, we're gonna remove this black wool here in between the two 
buttons and replace it with a pressure plate. And then let me just do a wrap around and make sure. Okay, so, oh, okay, we're gonna need another uh, wither skeleton. And we're gonna put that right there. And then that is gonna wrap up this tutorial for the um, rescue fire apparatus. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to um, like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, share this video with your friends if they are looking for a um, rescue apparatus tutorial, for maybe, maybe for their fire department. And, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.